So here's the question of the day. How do you cut perfect circles or perfect holes in ceramic or porcelain tile for a shower arm like this one over here or a tub spout in your tub surround? We're gonna tackle that question today. This is the tool that you use to get those perfect holes. So obviously this has been used I'll show you the packaging that it comes in. This is a one and a quarter inch diamond hole saw by Milwaukee. This is a retractable starter bit right here. So this was the package that that hole saw came in. This is just a one, like I said, one and a quarter inch diamond hole saw. You can find this at your local hardware store online. And this is the packaging that the retractable starter bit came in. So this goes inside that hole saw. So what happens is, is this retractable starter bit helps you get centered on the hole that you need to make in the tile. And then you have the little slots here on the side. This is what you use to push a, a screwdriver into to force out the piece of porcelain or whatever it is that you cut. So this is a little hole that we cut out over here for the tub spout. So this is your hole saw right here. And this is the starter bit, right? So the starter bit starts in the center of the the mark that you put on your tile where the hole needs to go. So it's as simple as the starter bit starting like that, and then your hole saw grinds through the porcelain or ceramic tile and cuts out a perfect hole. So what kind of power tool do you need to use this hole saw and this starter bit? Well, it's just a standard drill. This is just a quarter inch drill. You can use a half inch drill, but quarter inch is all you need. So the way that you get the perfect hole and in the right location is to measure off the adjacent tiles or wall with a measuring tape and find the center of that hole. Then you transfer those measurements onto your tile. Now one way to preserve the life expectancy of these diamond hole saws is to continually dip them in water as you're cutting your hole into your porcelain or ceramic tile. Now one thing I forgot to show you, there's a little screw right here. You can loosen it or tighten it with an Allen wrench. And that will either help you retract this starter bit or pull it out. Now in this case, I had to pull it out a little bit because I want to get this started into the tile. That way it'll set in the tile and allow me to uh, start to cut out the one and a quarter inch piece with the hole saw. So you may have to adjust the depth or how long the starter bit is coming out of your hole saw. Apply even pressure to the tile while you're drilling it with the hole saw. What you can do is dip the hole saw into water to preserve it or to extend its life expectancy. Now here's a hot tip. As you see that starter bit go through the other side of the tile, you can flip the tile over and start drilling from the opposite side. This will help prevent chipping of the tile. Go ahead and test this and see how it looks. We've got our spacers in place. Looks pretty good. So the top of this tile is lined up with our laser level, which is lined up with the top of the main wall tile. And I had to use, um, obviously we're putting this tile on these horseshoe shims, but I had to use two shims over here to uh, get the tile to be absolutely level. But that's fine, not a big deal. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and thin set the walls, and we're gonna back butter the tile, and we're gonna set this in place. So I really hope that these quick tips on how to cut perfect holes in ceramic or porcelain tile help you out. We just went over the Milwaukee diamond hole saw. There are a ton of other ones out there. So if you have a recommendation for a diamond hole saw that you've used for ceramic or porcelain tile, let us know in the comments. We're always looking for the best tools and the best accessories to help out with tiling. So add your comment down below. I know this is a really, really quick video and we're gonna come out with another one that shares how to cut a perfect hole for a mixing valve in porcelain or ceramic tile. So don't miss out on that. I wanna thank Maureen Stone, Macro Pedito, and House Numbers for commenting last week. Always leave your comments. I read them and I try to respond to as many as possible. So you can always add your comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, you can click the subscribe button right there and we'd be more than happy to let you know when our new videos come out on a weekly basis. Oh, by the way, you can watch our last video right here, which was on how to tile a shower niche. If you're looking to learn how to tile and you're doing a shower niche, this video right here could definitely help you out with that. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the comments.
If you're curious and you're wondering what the heck are all these different things in the wall, well these are Tuscan seam flips and these are horseshoe shims. They help us keep our grout joints nice and even and our tiles flush without lippage. I figured I'd throw that in at the end in case you were wondering.